Well, hello and welcome to the coverage of the 2019 Mitre Q K2 Cycle Classic. This race is over 192 kilometres and it challenges everybody. With distances of 200, 100, 50 kilometres, we have kids, aspiring juniors, some of the country's are best elites, e-bikers, and those that have just taken to it for the first time and are up for the challenge of the day. Over 800 riders have gathered for today's events. The K2 is starting off in the Thames Township with a big field, over 400 solo riders on the start line, and they will be heading off in groups. Of course, as always, Valley Toyota supplying us with the race vehicles or the event vehicles. Of course, for some it's a race, for others it's a fun ride and it's a challenge. And they'll be thinking about the very first climb of the day, which is the Kopu Hikawai, one of the most famous climbs on the Coromandel. It's long, it's steep, and it goes up to around 425 meters. But the riders get to experience a lot of things along the way from tropical forests, Pacific coastlines, rural farmland, and then the beautiful run down the Pahutakawa coastline back into Thames for the finish. As always, we're just about on the Mighty Q K2. Beautiful conditions, hot and sunny. And it's a day where you will be taking on plenty of water. So always want to be in a bunch that uh, works well together. To get over the top of the Kopu Hikawai, they can descend down this hill. High speeds, you can reach up to 100 kilometers an hour plus if uh, you're brave enough. As you come out of Kopu, a couple of little climbs. Of course, they're heading towards Viryanga. And uh, you come out of there with another tough climb as well. Tongue out, yep. That man, he's uh, on the time trial bike. Of course, be training for possibly the Iron Man. Good to see some smiling faces. Great scenery. That's one of the beautiful things about the Mighty Q K2. If you're up to riding it, you just see some of the most stunning scenery in New Zealand and uh, it's, it's a ride I'd really encourage you to do. Put it on your bucket list, go through a little coastal town there, Tairua, great little beach, great little place to holiday, boat, fish, surf. And the riders, they look across to the right, they see the, the ocean which would look pretty appealing when you come off this hill. Taking on the sponges, the water, really important. You want to slow down, make sure you get that hydration. Up over Pumpkin Hill. And of course, they continue the journey. Nice to see everyone enjoying it. That's where I'd be stopping as well, the Coru Glen Tavern, one of the famous uh, hotels. A lot of great bands played there over the years, particularly over the Christmas New Year's period. From here, we'll go through to the start of the elite women's race. Small field, quality field. Just a solid training day. <laughs> and then they set off a beautiful part of the country, beautiful part of the Coromandel. A look at that beachfront. Those uh, houses that can sit there and enjoy the view. Of course, they'll ride 100 kilometres to the finish in the Thames. Coromandel Township, I think it's about 43 odd kilometres away. Heap of climbing before you get there. And then you get down to the coastline. Nice shot of Katuna Beach. Look at that. Now, it would be pretty tempting, wouldn't it, to park the bike on the side of the road? Drop in, cool off. You feel like you just climb all day, but there is over 4,200 metres of descent on the Mighty Q K2. Might have a little bit of crank. So that's another honest long climb. That'll be coming up again. Little groups, it's always good to be in a group, share the workload, share the pace.
always smiling faces when Steve catches up, the team from Counties Manukau. We're going to see the young riders taking this on. It's a big challenge. The most many of them will be doing the Nicholas Brown challenge over 50 kilometres. Inside, nice climbing well. Teresa Adams. Absolute legend, triathlete, road cyclist, takes on the one, the women's elite K1. And as uh, we see more grinding up the hill, there's Teresa picking up some of the riders that started on a little bit earlier on the K2. Beautiful views over the Coromandel, up this climb. Yeah, the famous muscle farms in the background. It's a fast ascent, it's tight. And there's Teresa already rolled off that onto that famous Pahutakawa coast into Thames. You'll be heading a few kilometres down the road. I'd really encourage you to get into this race if you're sitting there and you've been doing a bit of training over summer. Well, you couldn't uh, want a better challenge. It's a must-do event. You get a day like today and you're heading towards home you feel pretty good all the climbs are behind these riders now and they will be delighted to get into the finish there's teresa has got a smile on her face she's put in a pretty good ride today it's riding exceptionally well looking strong solo the triathlon background that won't be a problem for her Michael Torkler comes in to win the K2 cycle classic, the Mercu K2, of course, in a very fast time. Michael Torkler, I think he's a four, maybe even a five-time winner of this race. And some of the other riders coming in who have finished. Michael Torkler, Carl Paul, Dan Firminger. There's always stories to be told at the end of the day and uh, plenty of food and hospitality at the finish. For these riders to enjoy. Iconic event, but I love it. I've done it, I think, five times now. And, um, yeah, I'll probably come back again. So, uh, first time for me doing it, um, and yeah, it was a fantastic course. Just brutal, though. Especially. Well, more riders uh, finishing. Great to hear from the leaders, Michael Talks. That he'll be back. Well, as we watch a lot of the riders come in, we can't be too far away from seeing Teresa Adams coming into take victory in the K2. There she goes, interview, heading into town, gives us a wave, looking a million dollars. You wouldn't have thought she's just ridden 100 kilometers from Fidianga in three hours and six minutes. A fantastic ride to take out the K1 Elite Women's. Um, oh, the race was good. Um, I came for a hard ride and it was a really hard ride. You always get that down here at this race. Um, that's why I like it. I love that they keep putting this race on every year and I know it's hard for the organisers and everyone involved, but um, it's a it's a really cool event. Yeah, so the hills and the hard hard uh, race, and it's cool that everyone comes down here for a challenge. Um, I think it's a really different kind of race. You don't get a lot like it. Um, so it's it's really cool, and um, I enjoy coming down with my partner, and he races he raced K2. We got third in the elite men's race, um, so I'm really proud of him. Well, finishing second to Teresa Adams yeah, was Georgia Swain, and in third place, Kate McCarthy in a time of three hours, 18 minutes. Oh, around the Katuna, Katuna coastline, around there. Um, when the hill started, that was when it started really getting brutal. Finishing? I, did, I expected it to be tougher than it was, but I'm pleased I did it. It was, it was great, yeah. First time. Awesome, though. Oh. Well, the hills. I love the hills. I seem to creep away from the team that I was around, so then I could be a nana on the way down. But I kept safe and I enjoyed the views. It was awesome. I was riding with awesome people I didn't know before. Yeah, but they were all great. Yeah. Uh, look, it was awesome. Uh, this is such a great event, and I did the K4 last year. I thought I'd do the shorter, grittier, faster version this year. I'm actually um, raising awareness for bowel cancer in New Zealand. That you get. A couple of tickles, and now I've got to think about what I'm going to say to my dear, lovely wife, Leonie. So, hey, Leonie, I love you very much. Some wonderful performances. A remarkable performance by 17-year-old Matthew Sugden.
We saw him take out the Cervelo K1 by six minutes in a time of 2.55.56. Alicia Evans from Auckland was the first female home. Tenth overall, 14-year-old Emma Blackmore from Auckland was the first home in the 53-kilometre Nicholas Brown Challenge in a time of 1 hour 59.02. Seven riders named the Magnificent Seven, including local rider Darren Donnelly, completed their 18th K2. That's remarkable. If you can ride 18 times on this course, that's something pretty special. For 2021, make sure you get your entry in. We'll be starting in Tyrua with rides for everybody. The Mitre Q, 200 kilometer K2, the, the Full Lap, the Tonelli 100K, the Nicholas Brown Challenge. See if you can line up, take on the likes of Michael Torkler, or just challenge yourself and enjoy the beautiful scenery around the Mitre Q K2 Cycle Challenge.